You want to hear content about the Philadelphia Eagles and the Philadelphia 76ers? That's straight to the point. No nonsense. No over-the-top shenanigans. So we got to say and keep it moving. Then you made the right choice coming to Nikki Steve's channel. So stay tuned. All right, Eagles Nation. Nikki Steve's back again with another one. And I've seen the Philadelphia Eagles schedule just like the rest of you. I'm sure I have. And looking at the schedule, we have a pretty good shot of winning the NFC East this year based off our schedule going into the 2021 season. Now, it's also going to depend on how we do during free agency, what moves we make in the draft, and how our training staff does this year, if we can actually stay healthy. Those are things that are going to factor in, too. But to be fair, we did win a Super Bowl with a lot of injuries. We made the playoffs the two seasons after the Super Bowl win. But anyway, let's get to the main point of this. So the point, we look at our schedule this year. We got, of course, the NFC East, or some people call our division the NFC Least. But anyhow, let's get so you got the Cowboys twice, the football team, if they get a name by then, twice, and the Giants twice. So there are six games. Then we play the NFC South, where you got the Panthers. Should be a salt easier game. The Falcons, hopefully you won't have a repeat of the last time we played them. Of course, then you got the Bucs, the defending Super Bowl champs. That's definitely going to be a, the toughest one. Our division. Oh, well, also we got the New Orleans Saints. Who knows what will happen with their quarterback situation. We'll just we'll have to see what happens through free agency in the draft before we can fully assess the strength of our schedule, though. But the NFC South, we got at least two teams. Falcons and Panthers are softer teams. Bucks sent defending Super Bowl champs. That should definitely be a tough game. And the Saints most likely will be if they keep most of their key pieces from the past couple of years. Then we got the AFC West. Chargers, on paper, it looks like that could be a high-scoring game. But again, we'll have to see with Freedency in the draft, and we'll see what happens when we get there. That looks like it could be a high-scoring game that could go either way as of now, especially if Jalen Hurts shows up and plays his best. But we'll have to see what happens when we get there. And we got the Chiefs, the AFC representative in the Super Bowl. So we played both teams that were in the Super Bowl last season. It's our third time playing the Chiefs with Andy Reid as their coach. Lost to him in 2017, week two, and we lost to him at Lincoln Financial Field back in 2013. I believe it was week four, if I remember correctly. Or was it week three or week four when we retired Donovan McNabb's jersey? But I know that's definitely going to be a tough game. Then we do have the Broncos, which that should definitely be an easy game. Hopefully it will be in the Raiders. Well, uh, Raiders kind of... Could go either way. I'm kind of curious because sometimes you get the good Raiders... Then you get the bad Raiders. So I guess we'll have to see which Raiders team we face when we get there, and we'll have to see what shape we're in. It's really too early to tell, though, but anyhow. So then we got that. That takes up at least 14 of our games. The other two games get the Detroit Lions. They finished in last place like we did in our divisions, respectively. Then we got the 49ers, which is a rematch from last year's game with all the injuries. Now, looking at the schedule on paper, we do have a relatively soft schedule. Our own division is most likely going to be a relatively soft division. If we make improvements, we can make a good run through our division like we did in 2019. And you got the AFC West. The Broncos should definitely be another soft game. Raiders could be either or because the Raiders, sometimes you get the good Raiders and the bad Raiders, like I said. So we'll have to see about that. Chargers, that's another one I'm kind of iffy about. The Chiefs, that's definitely going to be the toughest one in the AFC West. NFC South, you got Bucks, definitely. Saints look like they're going to be the toughest, especially the Bucks. Saints, they could most likely will be if they keep most of their key pieces. Then you got the Panthers and Falcons. Those are softer games. 49ers, well, based off the past couple of years, 49ers look like on paper they could be a softer game. But the point is they're on most of our schedule. Now, on paper, we got a schedule that could indicate we have a chance of making it up to seven, eight, or nine wins if – You know, quarterback play is obviously better. Play calling is better. So if we do make certain improvements in areas like play calling, even, God forbid, staying healthy, you know, quarterback play, we actually let Miles Sanders run with the ball and break the game open, could definitely get to 79 wins, which could be enough. It could be enough to win us the NFC East. So our schedule, we do have a relatively soft schedule, and it could be enough to win us the NFC East. Now, I'm not going to go out and make any predictions yet, Because, again, I want to see what we do in free agency in the draft before I start making predictions. We still have to see what moves we're going to make there before I make any predictions. All I did want to do was 
give a brief run through of the Eagles schedule and say, hey, based off the strength of our schedule, we could have a chance of winning the NFC East if we do free agency in the draft, right? Maybe even, God forbid, stay healthy. But, you know, we'll talk about that more once we get free agency in the draft as we get closer to the season. So, any note to everyone watched, of course, as always, thank you for watching. Hit the like button to show your support. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of our schedule. Do you like it? Do you think it could be, you know, a little bit challenging? Let me know what you think in the comment section about our schedule. And most of all, to everyone watching, have a wonderful day or night. Nikki Steve signing off, and I'll see you next time. You like that straight to the point mentality? No nonsense, no shenanigans. Hit that subscribe button because that's what we do on this channel. Every video, straight to the point, no shenanigans, no nonsense. If that's what you want, then you better hit that subscribe button.